Hot grease here. <laughs> Screwball taking me back to the trailhead. We're almost there until I realized <laughs> I left my hiking shoes back at the hostel. They're all laughing at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. And after we got lost, came back up here. Damn. Anyways, we took a wrong turn and any, I, I was going to get started early, but my bad. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'll turn this thing on when I get back on trail. If I get back on trail. Grease, that's where I got dropped off. I just met Dude Man. He'll be coming in behind me. I'm headed north into the Shenandoahs. Screwball, Bloodhound are taking a zero today. I'm going up ahead meeting my wife and Elton. I'll take my zero then and they'll catch up to me. So that's the plan. And uh, let's see what happens. We're going up trip. Hot grease here. That's where I came from. First view of the day. Been hiking a couple miles. If you look out there through the trees, it's a town that we're trying to figure out what it is. Lots of residential area by the looks of it. I'm sure we're going to get a few more views that are better than this, but it's a little hazy. It's humid today, but things are well. See you all up trail. Hot grease here. We just came out of the woods there into this opening. Looks like we're going to cross Skyline Drive. The sun has come out. It's going to be a beautiful day. And I guess well, we're, we're going to buy several communication towers coming up. It's good. Big Meadow. And 1.9 miles is Beagle Gap. We're on our way north. Most of the time. Hot grease here. That's where I'm coming from. Got a little bit of a power line view of out there down in the in the farmland. A little hazy out there. The sun is shining, it's humid. We're sweating a lot. And uh, so far it's been a great day. Headed north. Grease here. I get out into this meadow. The wind is is moving around, cooling us off. I met this uh, new hiking guy, Dude Man. He is uh, Majestic! He, and his wife, Majestic, who is waiting down there in that motor home. And uh, he's going to give me a little trail magic. And uh, it's, been, it's been a good morning. Uh, clouds are clearing off. I got a view to my left. And uh, it's just wonderful. Look at this, a beautiful place. That's Skyline Drive right there. And holy moly, it's so awesome to be out here on the Appalachian Trail. So awesome. All right, everybody, it looks like it's gonna be a good day. Hey, everybody, hot grease here, a little FaceTime. It's uh, around 11 o'clock in the morning. I'm about six miles in. Got a late start due to me forgetting my shoes at the hostel and having to go back. But I'm on trail. I got 14 to go to the shelter. I'm in the Shenandoahs. The trail seems to be, you know, we still got some ups, but seems to be pretty good. Hopefully I'll be able to make that time. There's a few thunderstorms headed our way, but it, uh, Hopefully I can beat them. If not, I'll just have to get wet. So I left out of the hostel a day early. The other screwball and bloodhound are taking a zero. And I'm meeting my wife in Elkton and I'll take a zero there. So they'll come in behind me and do a Nero into Elkton. And then we'll head out together again in three days. So that's the plan. And uh, it looks like pretty good weather for the next couple days. So 
I have a total of 45 miles to do. I'm gonna try to do that in a day. And, oops, two days and uh, maybe mid morning get picked up. So that's my plan. Uh, feels pretty good knowing my wife's coming. Got some other family members there. We're gonna eat and just hang out. Give me a day of recoup and uh, life is good. And now also in this 45 miles, towards the end of it, I will be crossing the 900 mile mark. So we're moving on. All right, as soon as I get something interesting, I'll turn this camera back on. Odd grease here. And the Shenandoah is coming from there. Come out in another big opening field up on top of a ridge. And it's the summit of Little Calf Mountain. And uh, and the view is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. It uh, it's it's a little hazy because Unfortunately, if you look right there, those clouds, this thunderstorm's coming. I don't know if I can outrun them or not, but I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna do what I have to do and make it to the shelter. So there's a little feel on top of this mountain. It's pretty awesome. And we're gonna head down trail right here. I just talked to my wife on the phone. She's got everything packed. I gave her my final list. Of course, she's bringing more than I need, but she can always take it back home. <laughs> uh, so, um, as you can see, I'm pretty excited about my, seeing my wife in a couple of days. And uh, it's good, life is good. So yes, as you can see, I'm on the Appalachian Trail. I thought I'd turn the camera on. Oh, it looks like it's a power line. Yeah, I got a view for sure. It's awesome. It's very awesome. They got some sort of plants growing here. I'm not sure what this is all about, but there's a bunch of tubes with plants growing on the side of that mountain, probably to stop erosion. So it's hot, humid, and muggy. And, uh, that's my view out there. It's pretty nice. There's mountains way off. It's a little, again, it's hazy today. But here's the mountains right in front of me. Less hazy, a lot closer. It's got power lines going through them, but it's, what's, it's the way it is. I'm in the Shenandoahs. All right, everyone, until next time. Hey, everybody, Hot Grease here. I'm at the top of a pretty big climb in the Shenandoahs. They say they're flat, but they're not. There's, they're up and downs, too. There's no doubt about it, because I've just experienced it. So, here's the reason I turned the camera on. I'm coming around this corner. I got a little bit more up to do. And I got color. I've had some color here and there, but this seems to be a pretty good patch of color. So I'm gonna put it on film. And uh, it's a little bit gone by. It's mountain laurel. And it's beautiful, no doubt about it. Some of it is bloom, some of it hasn't. This one here is full force. That is gorgeous, no doubt about it. I'm breathing a little hard. And as we come up through here, there's a bunch of it everywhere. Some of it just starting. We'll be out probably tomorrow or the next day. For the next hiker to come through. So we all get to see a little bit of this as, as we come up trail. And if you look right up through here, it's on both sides of the trail. What more could you ask for? A wildflower guy. 
hope you all enjoyed that. I'm gonna be turning this off in a minute. I may be baking out, but if we are, I'll turn it on. Yeah, that, that's, that's where I came from. And this is what I wanna show you. It's absolutely beautiful. Cannot ask for anything else any better. I'm enjoying the day. There's so much to see right there. So far, the Shenandoahs are gorgeous. So I'll bring you through one more time. I mean, we're just getting glimpses. It's the clouds in the distance that I don't like, but you know, I'm 10.5 from my destination right now. I'm at the halfway point. I'll do almost 21 today. So that's beautiful. And right up close here, what do we have? We have color. Everywhere you look, there's color. Everywhere you look down the trail. It's absolutely beautiful. I know I keep saying that, but what other words do I use? I found water, so I cambled up, drank a bunch, and I got two liters with me. So that could bring me to 10, but I, I probably will have to get water one more time. So far the day has been pretty quiet. I've seen four hikers. And uh, it is Friday. Tomorrow, probably, on Saturday, there'll be more hikers around. All right, everyone, this is the green tunnel I'm headed into. Hot Grease is here. That's where I came from. Got a little bit of a view out there. It's kind of hazy, but it's there. I'm 5.9 5 from the shelter, and it looks like it's gonna start raining, but I'll put my poncho on in a minute. All right, everybody. That's a short one, but you can see the rain out there. It's coming this way. Hot Grease here. That's where I came from. We get a little bit of a view. You have to see it through the trees, but Shenandoah Ridges is what we're looking at. It's a pretty place. Mountains ain't as tall. Still a lot of ups and downs. And, uh, trail makes you work for any reward you get. It's getting close to the end of the day. I get about three miles left of 20.7. So it's a pretty big day for me. Probably my second biggest day ever. And uh, I'm tired. There's no doubt about it. And then tomorrow I'm going to attempt a 24. I don't know how that's going to go. But it could be a train wreck. We'll see. All right, I'll probably do a wrap up, a wrap up at the uh, shelter. And uh, so we'll see you there unless something special comes up. Okay, thanks for watching. Hot Grease here. That's the shelter I'm staying at tonight. The water source is actually running down the steps to get to it, but there's a nice little book right here. Double fed from there and from there. And uh, it looks like a spring. So I'm gonna have good water tonight. I'm here at, uh, we got here about 5.30. And I see a book. So I'm going to eat water, have supper, eat my bed, and get up in the morning and head out of there. So, we'll see you tomorrow. Again, thanks very much for following me and watching.